I was just called in one day and told I was being posted to Vietnam. Here was a nation at risk of going down the drain. It was a deadly serious business. This is the story of an elite fighting force, the AATTV, better known as the team. Probably the most outstanding unit ever raised by the Australian Army in any war. A military unit at the forefront of a crisis that changed Australia forever. One of history's most controversial conflicts. This is not warfare, this is just murder. The team would find themselves working for the shadowy CIA. I will not have professional assassins. It could become something you can't control. And were the first Australian troops in and the last to leave. I remember thinking, would the war ever, ever end? The team were the most decorated Australian unit of their time. They fought a unique war alongside South Vietnamese. Uh, I was probably a racist when I first went to uh, Vietnam. I really didn't respect the people. But members of the team would go on to form bonds with their Vietnamese soldiers, unlike any other unit. They called me their brother. Whatever they did or did, I was just one of them. They would have died rather than, than leave me. Brother and brother fighting together. And when this war, the first to be watched across the world, was over, members of the team would fight to change the way Australia treated foreigners. I became very involved in resettlement of Vietnamese refugees. Qua đây thì tôi gặp lại những bạn bè cũ của tôi đầy đủ hết. I couldn't, couldn't not do something about it. Finally, 50 years later, the veterans of the team and the men they fought alongside can tell their story. I saw a few things I didn't want to see. I can't get over this, I never will. Returning to the scene of battles that they fought so long ago, confronting the past. <laughs> the team will reveal how the Vietnam War changed them and Australia. Before the Vietnam War, few Australians would imagine the future of Australia would be so embedded in Asia. After the Vietnam War, no one could imagine that it would not be. The training is designed to get as close as possible to the actual battle conditions that the fellows will be facing when they leave. It is typical guerrilla warfare, typical jungle warfare, something upon which we are experts and we can make a real contribution in this field. I think those of us who served with the training team feel that uh, we were a, a special group of people. I do believe that counterinsurgency advisors are the best way to do it. At first, they would just be training the South Vietnamese. But before long, they too would have to fight. It seemed all very peaceful until uh, I think it was the day after we arrived there and there was a massive bomb blast. Guerrilla attacks in South Vietnam had become commonplace. Nhất là biệt ơn những người những bà bà ngỡ úc những người lính úc đã tham chiến bên Việt Nam để giúp chúng tôi đặng chống lại sự xâm lăng của Việt Cộng. Tôi thương những cái người cổ vấn của tôi lắm vì tôi luôn luôn nghĩ rằng đất nước Hoa Kỳ đất nước Úc đã gửi người con em của họ những cái đưa qua để giúp đỡ chúng tôi để protect cái nền tự do của miền Nam chúng tôi. Cuộc rí xin rất là lớn. As the communists seemed to be gaining the upper hand, the team decided to change the way they operated in Vietnam. Instead of just training their troops, they would fight alongside them in battle. The Viet Cong were proving themselves to be brutal masters of guerrilla warfare. Now that the team had to join their soldiers out on patrol, they would bear witness to the horror of Viet Cong terror tactics. One village we came to, they'd been through before us, they got the village headman. First, they disemboweled him, while he's still alive, mark you, and then when they'd done all that, 